don't know how old are you? Uh, well, right now I'm eight years old. Do you have fun other than science? Do you do anything for fun? Uh, yeah. You got like a truck or something? <laughs> I don't even have a driver's license. You had to be 16 years old to drive. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about science? Is that your favorite subject? Of course. That's what the interview is about, Jojo. <laughs> I'm trying to get everybody to get to know a little bit about you. What, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an astronomer when I grow up because I like space. An astronomer, what do they got to do with a scientist? An astronomer is someone who studies space from Earth, while an astronaut is someone who goes into space and studies space. I want to be an astronomer because I don't like heights. <laughs> You're going to teach us something today. What are you going to show us? Today, I'm going to show you two homopolar motors. So let's do it, man. Show me what you want to do. <laughs> Just put this down. Just put this. I Just got put it. this down on the foil. <laughs> that ain't what it's supposed to do. Quit clapping for that. <laughs> this crazy uneven table up here. No, this is not an uneven table because look, if you look at it and the plus is to the right, then that means it'll go forward. It, it'll go to your forwards. Oh, I get what you're talking about. Uh huh. And you just turn it around and it'll go the turn other. Turn it just the other way. Yeah, like that. It'll go the other way. <laughs> See, I didn't know that. All right, what else we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna do. This one? This one is different by far. Oh, I got to get one of these right here. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Jojo, why, do, why does this do this, though? This works because of Lorentz force. Because of what? Lorentz force. Lorentz force? Yes. When you have a magnetic field and a current flowing, it creates Lorentz force. This force is why the motor spins. Lorentz was the guy who discovered this force, so that's why it was named after him. And his full name was Hendrik. I wasn't finished! I wasn't finished! He wasn't finished! Stop all that clapping! <laughs> Okay, His so name was Hendrik Lorenz, and he won the Nobel Prize in 1902. The Nobel Prize is a prize you win for doing something great in science. Jojo, man, you're my favorite kid, man. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks for teaching us about science. Please welcome Sophia. Sophia, how are you, darling? I'm great. Nine years old. Where are you from? I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I like that. I'm from Cleveland. Cool. With that, you better know that's cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. What grade are you in? I'm in third grade. You nine and you in the third grade. Uh-huh. Wow. I was 12. <laughs> Sophia, how long have you been playing the piano? I've been playing the piano since I was four years old. Really? Yeah. How much, how much you practice a day? Um, I practice one to two hours a day. That's all? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You play one or two hours a day? Uh, but on weekends, I practice maybe to two to three hours. Oh. Sophia, you memorize difficult pieces, I understand, quicker than grown-ups who've played them for years. How do you do that? Of course, I have to practice very hard, Mr. Harvey. Every time I learn a new piece, I don't know how. I can just memorize it so quickly. Like, for example, two months ago, I played with the Cincinnati Pops Orchestra, and they gave me six weeks to learn this piece, but I learned to memorize it in two weeks. What do you want to be when you grow up, Sophia? I have so many dreams, Mr. Harvey. I would like to become a famous concert pianist, but I would also like to become a surgeon and help find a cure for cancer. Really? Yeah. Well, I hope you do that. I, I well. really hope somebody finds a cure for cancer. That would be, that would be great. 
So, you're gonna perform for us today. What are you gonna play? I'm gonna play um, Chopin Impromptu, number one in A flat major. Girl. Well, Sophia, we want to see you because you're just a sweetheart to us. And we're excited that you're here. And we want to see you do your thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Sophia. Okay, so tell me how it works. Well, um, the trick is the fifth fruit. A fifth fruit of a number is the number that you have to multiply by itself five times to get the original number. Okay, grab the calculator. Okay. Now think of a number between one and a hundred, but don't tell me what it is. You want me to think of a number between one and a hundred? Yeah. But don't tell you what it is? Yeah. Okay. Type it in the calculator and multiply it by itself five times. And then so type the number that I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, what you're thinking. Okay. The number that's that what I'm thinking. Then do what? <laughs> Try you don't again. think I saw you just look up there? Try again, because okay. because you made me look at you. I made you made me look at you. Okay, well scoot over then. <laughs> scoot over. I'll fix it. Can it work from here? <laughs> okay, I got the number. Now multiply it itself five times. Mm -hmm. for, okay. for example, five times five times five times five times five. That's an example. Okay, hold tight. Can I do that number? I think that'll work. Okay. Okay, now, okay, here's, here's the number, 4,084,101, 
I know it's a little shocking. And, you know, we don't look that much alike, but we're going we to work through that. And listen to me. We're going we gonna to go to Vegas. <laughs> and you just sit next to your daddy and just, just count them cards for me. Just... All right? Thank you, Miguel. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.